Hello viewers, how are you? I hope you are doing well. God will give you more happiness to you and your family. Let's start today's informational video about Iraq currency. I think Iraq may as usual drag this out to the 31st. I do not see how they can blow past the 31st when their stock market is supposed to be live on Nasdaq NASDAQ on the 29th. Sudani has promised the world a revaluation by the 31st. The EU and the USA removed Iraq from the list of the most corrupt nations in the world. Last year, therefore, Sudani prepared the Iraqi dinar to float. Very simply, IMO, the central bank of Iraq, has already told the citizens of Iraq, we have a new currency, we have a new exchange rate and we will give it to you. The Iraqi government determines the Iraqi dinar's value and it does not fluctuate unless the central bank alters the exchange rate. This means that the government sets the currency price for sales and purchase. We also know the IMF and the World Bank plays an important decision in helping Iraq to decide. Iraq is set and ready to go. We understand they have traded their opening value, their in-country rate up quite a bit so far and we are looking forward to our exchanges here. I hope on the 29th, the Iraqi dinar goes on forex. It can be international, but it does not mean anything. Everyone is getting excited. Enjoy it. Maybe later you are not gonna work anymore, so enjoy it now. Al-Sudani visit to Washington is the only and last solution to the crisis of the dollar rise. Al-Ubadi said one of the solutions that would reduce the value of the dollar against the dinar is to increase the demand for the dinar in the parallel market. He added that more than 75 trillion Iraqi dinars outside the banking system are used to buy dollars. The price of the dollar does not exceed 164 selling and 160 buying and it varies between offices and they are very few in this direction at the present time. Thanks for watching. If you need more help, please comment below.